When they found her in the forests of France, she was alone. So they called her a feral child, but she wasn't raised by wolves. She was loved by a mother and a father right here, but they died of unnatural causes, colonist cancer. You should get yourself checked. Marie-Angelique Memmi Leblanc was born 1712 on Turtle Island. By 1720, she was one lonely little fox. That's the name that the French gave to Meskwaki girls they sold as house pets. It happened so often they had a name for it, and she was shipped out with two Inuit girls who don't even get names packed between firs and fir trees, and when they got to Marseille, they were a note in the manifest, three little savages, two dead, and Marie was forgotten. She wasn't Marie yet anyway. She was unnamed female savage. They called her a savage, so that's what she became, feral, wild child, la fille sauvage de Champagne. They called her a savage. 500 years later, and they're still calling us savages. Marie Angelique Memmi Leblanc was eight years old when she landed in France. She was the original stolen sister. Kidnapping doesn't even cover it. It's not a crime to FedEx a person if everyone believes they're a piece of furniture. She survived the plague and the eyes of hungry men, eight years old, eating frogs and sleeping in trees, thick black hair in locks to her knees, and the hunter who trapped her by accident. Ten desperate years later, thinking she was some new kind of wolf, said she was demon-possessed, speaking in tongues. But she was speaking Meskwaki. She kept our language alive by whispering it to herself, an ocean away from her people, Marie Angelique, named for a saint, and the angels learned to read, write, and pray to a god they told her had saved her. I don't know her. But I don't think she was thanking Jesus for taking her family from her or for selling her to another continent that wasn't God's plan. Only man could think that up. I didn't grow up alone, so I speak my mother's tongue. But it's not my mother tongue, Canada. I don't know how to live in this world. You took away what we had and gave us English and French, so now I write poetry in the enemy's voices. Call me a little fox and watch me bite the hand that feeds me. I don't speak my mother tongue, but Canada, I've been getting pretty good at sign language. <laughs> I wonder what Marie would think of me for moving to France, I don't know. Maybe she liked it by the end. She died a rich old woman, but I chose to move there. No matter how good the baguettes may be, a prison is still a prison. I don't think she found it as charming as I do. Marie lost her real name, and I don't know my words. I have more friends on Facebook than there are Meskwaki speakers left in this world. We develop language before the age of five, so it will never be my first breath, but I am learning and taking baby steps to learn baby talk. Marie Angelique and me, two Meskwaki on the wrong side of the Atlantic. If she can learn French after a decade of total silence, then I can learn to speak at 25. This land is my home, so I won't end this story in anger. And if I've lost my voice when speaking, it's because I'm still trying to find it. Marie, Angelique, Memmi, Leblanc, I don't know you. But Quetzalbanyan, I'm learning to tell you I love you. <laughs>